a stain on my shirt. Mm. So out here, uh, this is a liquor store, and since it's Kelly's tw Worm's 21st birthday, the worm turns, we've got 160 bucks uh, in B's pocket, actually, which he's going to get out and prove to you. So it's Kelly's 21st birthday. W the worm turns, as they say. Um, she's got her IDs here. Ooh, and I'm just dropping money everywhere. We've got $160 here. Um, sent to us by viewers. Sent to us by viewers. Um, and uh, we're going to give it to, to Kelly and just have her go at it here at this liquor store, at this undisclosed liquor store here in Bloomington, Indiana. I'm finally 21, and I'm going to take this wad, and I'm just going to blow it. Blow it inside. I've got my ID. I'm totally prepared. So everyone, come blow your yeah, wad with me. Yeah, let's go blow our wads with Kelly. Worm, because the worm just turned. So what's her name, Worm or Kelly? What is it? <laughs> Tastes really yummy. You're neglecting your duties as oh an alcohol my, oh consultant. Oh shit! Well, what, what would you like? Something that's like fruity and fruity. delicious, like okay. hearty. Um, um, fruity. Hearty, fruity, delicious. Uh, yeah. Follow me. Right around here. The fruity things are on this aisle, so really, well, we'll you're kind here. Of peruse it. Yeah, yeah. Look at what we've got here. What the hell is this? One choice has been made. Frangelico. Mm. Hazelnut yeah. liqueur. A hazelnut. And it was my recommendation, by the way. Oh, great. So he's not completely nuts. Yeah. Wow. The final four. The final four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so you've probably never, ever bought liquor before, unless you've uh, had a fake ID or something. That's, that's absolutely true. And this will be the first time we're going to have Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How you doing, guys? Hi. What's your name? My name is Ben. Yeah, and what did you do on your 21st birthday, Ben? I went, I went and saw a band, and they sang happy birthday to me. Wow. wow. Who was it? It was uh, Identity. Oh, OK. It was fantastic. And, wow. um, and then, and then we, we went and drank more. Hey, that's good. It was, uh, it was a good yeah. 21st did birthday. Did you throw up or, or No, that's the best thing about somewhere it. That that's the best thing have. about it. I didn't throw up. I don't like that, that rites of passage yeah. crap. You know? Hey, that's good. It is. Yeah. Just go out, have a good time with the buddies type yeah. thing. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It was excellent. And it was his 21st birthday just yesterday. Yes. He You're tells kidding, us. really? Wow. Yeah. And what'd you do? I uh, threw up a lot. Uh -huh. I was rites of passage crap. Rites of, exactly. pa rites of passage crap. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> that so, must be why so, you're wearing a poncho to hide your <laughs> stained clothes. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually for <laughs> the cold. But oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It was. Well, was fun. it a great experience? Hey. It was a good experience. 21 of the most disgusting shots I've ever taken. So really your Tuesday. face will be on this Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So did you and uh, I'll see you guys 11 o'clock Tuesday. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 On b -cat. I'm going to go get carded for the first time right hey, now. Hey, cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Sam's cool. Club card. They don't take it. Don't you spell your last name? Now, we want to emphasize this woman is just doing her job. <laughs> And a good job at that. Yeah, yeah. There, there's nothing personal here. Oh, but there might be if I don't get out of the way. <laughs> See you. See you guys. Have fun. They invited us to a big three kegger tonight up on North Grant, so I think we may try to swing by if we can. Gosh, um, so it must be nice being famous. It's nice being famous. People invite us to, to parties and they give us money to buy our liquor. And look, Worm has the booze. 5309. 5309. So we still got $110 or so yeah. left to blow the on stripper. other drugs. Hi, oh, it's so good to see this you. Is, yes, it's my new spring. This is my way of saying, welcome spring. I'm never going to have to shave. 
Most bathing suits come up like this, so you only have like a muff that's like that big. But I like a full muff. I don't want to shave. Yeah. So this way, I can keep my muff. So this first drink that we're going to be making is going to be called a nutty worm. What this is going to be made out of is coffee, which I have already poured in here. It's a little hot, but that's OK. You can see it kind of down there in the glass. And to this, you're going to be adding this shot here, which is um, a shot of Frangelico, which is a hazelnut liqueur. It's very tasty. Just pour it in there. Oops. And uh, I'm going to taste this, the nutty worm. Wow. Gosh, I'm feeling asexual already. Just don't, we don't want any shadows. Huh? So what did you do on your 21st birthday? I threw my own party. Uh-huh. And, uh... Did anybody come? Oh, yeah, man, there's probably about 20 people there, and I bought beer because I was excited because I could buy beer, so it was mm -hmm. worth buying beer for my own party because I was buying beer for the first time. Somebody told me a story that was just so fantastic that I keeled over in my seat, see? Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, and I just knocked the whole table over with my big old boots. <laughs> both tables, actually. And uh, all the drinks on these tables, uh, both of them, mm -hmm. probably about, oh, I don't know, eight drinks, 16 mm -hmm. drinks, something like that, 42, I don't know. Uh, they all slid off onto the floor and crashed and broke, uh -huh. every single fucking one of them. <laughs> um, Did you feel like somewhat of a doofus? Um, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. So anyway, they, they were kind enough to let us go our way and not not pay anything, really, mm -hmm. for the damage that we'd done. Uh, of course, it that was you just, had done, It was more just kind of understood that we shouldn't hang around. <laughs> <laughs> and we smoked marijuana. Really? Right wow. on the back porch. My parents were sitting in the living room mm -hmm. right there, and we were on the back porch. Mm -hmm. There was the picture window right there, the mm -hmm. back porch, smoking joints right there. Wow. And I got and I got drunk and I got high. I I didn't do the to the point of getting sick, which I was glad. I really had a great time. Yeah, I don't really remember turning twenty one. Oh, you don't remember it, so you were that yeah. drunk, huh? Well, no, it's just that I didn't place emphasis on drinking. It was more on smoking. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yeah. I fully expected to get laid, but... But it didn't happen. Oh, well. So actually, on my 21st birthday, um, I went home to visit my parents in Lexington, Kentucky, and I didn't drink at all, believe it or not. And uh, it, w it, was, it was really embarrassing. But although I did, uh, I did get really drunk the night before my, my 21st birthday. See... I thought for sure, man, for this one second, I thought for sure because I knew this this one woman was was being really sexually flirtatious. Not to me, to this other guy, Steve, but I knew, mm -hmm. well, if Steve didn't, you know, hook up with her, that maybe I'd have a chance, you know? Mm -hmm. So I kind of kept an eye. And all of a sudden, those two disappeared. And I was like, oh, shit, man, I wonder what's going on. What's going on? They were gone for like 20 minutes. And I thought, oh, man, he's getting laid. And I wanted to get laid by her, man. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get laid by her. What did you do on your 21st birthday? I was um, sailing across the Mediterranean. Really? Yeah, wow. I had a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, my crotch. wow. In your crotch. Yeah. <laughs> so what I did in my, I was so delirious and mm -hmm. high and drunk, you know, not puking, but just at this delirious point mm -hmm. where I was convinced that if I ran into them, I'd be able to join in. Uh -huh. So I ran out through the cornfield. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> well, that sounds kind of appropriate, I, I suppose. I threw up. <laughs> I don't know, but it was just really dark. And, and I started trying to pick up their voice. And I was so high, though, I thought, am I hallucinating where I'm hearing this voice? So I started running mm -hmm. faster and faster because my adrenaline was, was just pouring out. And I was really horny, man. Uh -huh. I'd only been a non-virgin for like two weeks. Uh -huh. oh, so dear. this was something I was really ready to try again. Uh -huh. you know? So Paul, what did well, you do on your 21st birthday? Uh, I, I can't remember having one, but I guess I did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you're now, uh, what, how old, 30 uh, or something? No, no. No, 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 okay. Uh, kind of, yeah, <laughs> close, but... You but know. you're definitely past it, so it must have happened past at some 21, point. yes, and I, I probably I also did uh, puke. Puke? Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and, uh, and I heard him, and then all of a sudden I ran into him, and then I was like there thinking, 
God, did I really think I was going to start laying these people if they were having sex? <laughs> and I, for a while, I guess I thought I would, uh -huh. but they were, just, they were there talking. And I was like, then I was completely embarrassed. Obviously, you shouldn't smoke marijuana. It's a bad, <laughs> bad thing. So you're about to turn 21 in just moments, in like 15 minutes. Well, what I'm expecting is going to happen is they're just, you know, they're not even going to let me in. They're going to read something's weird going to happen, and they're going to like, no, I can't come in yet. And Who's not going to so, let you in? Um, the place where we're going. Oh, you're going to a bar? Yeah. Wow, where? Um, I think we're going to the Blue Book because the Smurfables are playing there. Hey, good idea. Yeah. Oh, this is weird looking. That must be... Oh, it must be the video the show. The video show. That's a show that occurs after J and B on the Rocks every Tuesday at eleven thirty, unless it occurs at uh, some other time other than that. That's shameless. Time. You should be ashamed plugging no, yourself. I have nothing. I don't have anything to do with that show. Okay, so I've been asked to show the actual ID. This is a preliminary ID showing. This is practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know, so you, you flash them, and then they're gonna like look at it. They're gonna uh -huh. say, "Oh, red," and then they're gonna like. I look around and go, well, so what's the deal? I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to tell them about my mm -hmm. birthday and how it's it's close to midnight and we'll probably have to actually wait a couple minutes because, you know, the yeah. bell Yeah, if they're going to be real strict, then... Gonna be, yeah. Mm. And um, then they might ask for a second ID because, mm -hmm. you know, this, this might be kind of confusing. Yeah, it's a so, tough town. Yeah, so we've got the two IDs of mm -hmm. me. Wow, and, it's uh, you. Well, you know, if you had one of... If you had an outfit like this, they'd let you in for sure. No doubt, man. No doubt. <laughs> gonna go tomorrow? They give me any shit, I'm gonna put this on. Okay? And then they won't give you any shit. That's right. Who needs money? Wow, you're passing out money at the door. Uh -huh. That's nice of you. Uh, It's tonight. still, it's actually still the same business day. I what do you mean? You can't come in until tomorrow. Why is that? Because officially it's day eight as far as the business day goes, and that's what the law is. You're kidding. So, man, they keep Man, they gave me up. shit, man. I, apparently it's, the, it's just the, like, uh, it's the, still the same business day as yesterday, you know, because we, uh -huh. you know, people and businesses don't work the same, you see. Yeah, so it's, yeah. You know, yeah. in 15 minutes it is tomorrow, which is the night. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? They dissed your woman. Aren't you going to go beat the guy up or something? Uh, I gave him a dollar already now. <laughs> I got a stamp. You <laughs> want to use it? it? <laughs> well, shit, man. Go go tell him that you're not going to come in because he won't let your, your girlfriend in. He's going to diss me then, too. Yep, yep, yep. So, so what are you going to do now? I don't know. Go to sleep. Go to... I'm pretty tired anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Get some tomorrow. Yeah. Ooh, yay. Hey, at least he gave you your dollar back. Mm -hmm. So at least this Perfect is a fine condition. establishment in some ways. Maybe they don't bend the law even even a little bit, but at least yeah, but they they got give good you your taste money. in music. Maybe. That well, how are you? How are we? How are we? I'm going home. How are you <laughs> going to try and come up with a, a good evening for her? Well, um, we were we were thinking that we would try to like cut a hole in the roof and uh, and, <laughs> and repeller lower it. through. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, it that could work. That would get around the bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, good luck. You look like you're in shape and all, so that you know that's a viable plan. <laughs> well, cool. happy birthday! You've got to hey, fight bro. the Welcome. system, man. Fight the system. But I don't know how. This is something important Help that me. she has to stand up for, because this this could change the way we work our pens and small objects around the world. Well, that's the biggest bullshit law I've ever heard of Boycott. in my entire life. Everybody should boycott everything. Everything, because it's all owned by the same people anyway. So boycott it all. Let's move to Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, where you where you, you can get into bars when drink. you're out, out yeah. something. Yeah, right. the, I think the law there is that that you're required to drink when you're under, under 21. You're right. They don't let you in after you're over tw after yeah. 21 and older. Yeah. They actually you can you have to be 21 to enter. You can't be older or younger. Ah, so yeah. just, they just have that one year window for getting into the bars. Yeah.
Okay, because of the situation here. The uh, lighting situation. Yeah. Technical well, concerns. Yeah, we've decided to turn this table around. So I'm just going to place the uh, camera down here on the table. Yeah, facing the booze, of course, because that's that's important. No, well, just booze over to the side so that you can see what's going on. And we're yeah. now moving the table, as you can see. The table is yeah. moving, and your point of view is rotating with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You can feel like you're part of our kitchen table, in a way. So that was, now that's done. Let's get on with things. So we're going to be making some banana daiquiris now um, for our for our friends here in the other room. Who are in there, who are in there doing their thing. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing you want to put in here is a bunch of ice into your blender, incidentally, is what I was referring to. Next thing you want to add is uh, this banana. How about that? But get your own banana because obviously if you try to add this banana, you'll fail because I've got it and you don't. Peel it first, that's important, and uh, maybe break it in half so that you have two halves um, and just put them, put them in your blender. I'm kind of doing this in reverse order, as you may note. Um, usually you add the booze first, um, but, uh, but it doesn't really matter when you're blending it. Do you understand that concept? Okay, so um, lime juice is what we're adding here. Um, maybe, I don't know, just kind of some, I'd say, some lime juice. In the interest of getting all of our friends drunk, we're going to not only pour all of this rum in, which was about, I don't know, four ounces, five ounces, six ounces, some amount, um, but we're going to, well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll leave. <laughs> you pour all that into it. And uh, then you're going to add some creme de banana. Um, and... Uh, Maybe two ounces of creme de banana. That's all the ingredients you're going to add. I'm sorry. I hope you weren't waiting for more. And uh, then just blend it. Oh. All right. No. We... Well, the banana seems to have divided up into like about six big chunks. No, no, that's ice. This is ice here. You should probably use crushed ice to start with, otherwise you, you get these big chunks of ice like I did. Mmm. Mm. A tantalizing tidbit of, of tasty um, titillation. So I'm going to pour a sample of this for the worm on her 21st birthday celebration. Wow, the party's getting a little out of hand. Yeah, it's getting a little noisy in there. Would you like a sip? You bought this booze yourself, you know. And the worm turns. I finally understand. <laughs> wow. And the worm turns. What? So, um, Kelly, we wanted to talk to you a little about your, um, about your work as a, as a video artist. Because, as you know, that's being featured. It's a large part of, actually, of, of this show. You might be good luck to start. You know, we gave you some tapes and, and, and you did some, some taping for us. <laughs> oh, so you, you want to see that stuff? Well, we'll be showing it periodically. You've probably already seen some, or if not, well, let's, we'll watch some now. <laughs> we just wanted to talk to you a little bit now that we're all feeling relaxed and comfortable. 
about your cinem your cinematic style. Technique, technique. so to speak. <laughs> that rhymed. Here I go. So your use of shadows I find particularly interesting, um, like this example that we're watching. It. You want me to do something? Is this it? What do you mean? You know some of the stuff that, that that's on that tape. Um, you know what I'm talking about, right? I like those. There, there's this tape that um, is called Worm Tape 2, and you, and you did some stuff on it. Kind of scenes around Bluington, for example. You know, and, and yeah. actually, it's bits and pieces, really. Um, yeah, I sort of remember doing that. Yeah, yeah. And what I was wondering was, I mean, some of it was fairly unusual. W what was going through your mind when you videotaped a lot of that? That's a really good question. Um, I think it had a lot to do with color. 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 Yeah. There was a lot of blue, I noticed. Yeah. Blue sky, um, blue tiles. Did I do a lot of blue? More blue than anything else, certainly. Maybe I'm going through my blue phase. Yeah, like, yeah, like Picasso. Picasso. I mean, God, he was quite an artist, and, he well, did it was a blue yeah, period. he had a blue, blue period. Now, Just there was that one scene, actually, that was like all sky, except for <laughs> up in the upper left-hand corner. <laughs> There was a tip of a telephone pole. Okay, kind of coming in and out of the frame and j jiggling around. Jiggle. Do you remember that part, or or was it just part of your artistic mastery that just I kind of? I do not remember that. Wow. wow. Did you watch the significance? That's the new I mean, Guess not. I don't remember a lot of it at least. But you shot it. So I mean, assumably. Actually, a lot of it. It looked like you didn't actually have the camera up to your eye. It seems like you, you felt that freer than most people to let go of your control of the camera. It's a critique from Bart. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I hope you won't feel insulted by this, but some of it even looked like it had just been kind of like with the camera left on and slung over your shoulder, like you were just walking around town. Um. So what were you going for with that? Or do you remember that? I don't know. You don't seem to be remembering any of this, really. Do you have any significant lapses in your memory? I mean, is this a fairly frequent thing? I just don't even know what is... <laughs> I guess. It's a sad, sad thing. We want to stress that although we talk a lot about drinking and, and using drugs, that part of the responsible use of drugs is knowing when to quit when you have a problem. And if you have significant black holes in your memory, um, then that's probably an indication that, that something's gone too far. Yeah, bad, bad. We better check you into a, a rehab clinic. Yeah. yeah, so let's go. You just turned 21, it's time to head over there. Gosh, I guess I better go. <laughs> So we have a letter here from M to J and B on the rocks here. This is uh, post dated from Indianapolis, but I have a feeling it's from someone local because they seem to know about our TV show. Oh, look, flowery Darjeeling tea. Gosh, so so a healthy person, a health freak, maybe, or maybe just a nice person who wanted us to drink some tea. Dear, dear J and B, this is dated the 8th of January. I came home today from a hard day of classes, still hung over from the weekend, and walked over to the VCR to set it to record J and B on the Rocks, as I do every Tuesday. As I walked across the room, my eyes happened upon a small stack of mail sitting on the couch. I picked up the small stack of mail and began to quickly leaf through it. I tossed away the usuals, an heirs mailer and two credit card applications, flipped through the Victoria's Secret catalog and paused at a yellow newsletter-looking thing with the return address of J&B on the Rocks. Yeah, I, know, I remember that thing. We sent it out. My heart pounded as I removed the staple. What could it be, I asked myself. A fine sheet of perspiration coated my hands as I unfolded the mystery sheet. As my eyes scanned the print, a frown began to cross my lips. What is this? I cried out loud to no one in particular. Could it be? Please say it is a cruel joke. Are J and B, two fine fellows for whom I hold a great respect, really asking me, M, 
A lowly $5.50 an hour part-time worker for my own hard-earned money? What is this world coming to? How dare you demand financial reimbursement from your viewers, many of whom relate to you for the simple fact that they, like you and me, have no money. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. In short, what I'm trying to say is, of course I'll help out. My check is enclosed. Do with it as you will. Stock the bar, fill your gas tank, buy some Vicks Vapor Rub. Just keep doing what you're doing, baby. Kisses, M. Wow. Well, um, this may seem kind of cryptic to you, but we kind of we sent out a, a, a an impassioned plea to some of our viewers a couple months back, asking for some money because we didn't have any, and and uh, this was one of the responses we got. And gosh. It makes me happy, and so I'm going to mix a drink in honor of this lovely, fine thing that just um, I read to you here. So this next drink that we're going to make is going to be called a pap smear. Add about an ounce and a half, two ounces, you know, some amount of whiskey that'll get you buzzed and, and uh, make that pap smear more bearable. Add some papaya juice, shake it up uh, in your special method, and... Uh, Pour in about four ounces, and then top it off with an ounce or two of 7-Up Sprite. So I'm going to taste this tasty, frothy, fun concoction, the pap smear. Concoction. Gosh, what's that crunchy thing in it? Did you not stir? <laughs> ooh, you, ooh, you, ooh, you, ooh, you. Well, that's good. <coughs> well, that's good. <coughs> they bond her at the stake for farting! <laughs> <laughs> Terry, could you come fix the fridge? Thanks to our new roommate, we never have to call the other fridge repairman. He's more fun. What didn't? No, it didn't. The bong oh. water. It oh, the bong water. Oh. The bong water. <laughs> Just for the record, smoking pot is bad. <laughs> I snuck back here just to say, hi. I told him I lived with J&B on the rocks, and he said, God help you. Wow. Wow, that's sad. God help you. Oh, he said it twice. Uh -huh. You'll just have to trust me. Don't trust us. You'll just have to trust me. Don't trust us. You'll just have to trust me. Don't trust us. <laughs> turns because she's sick of the work. She oh. wants a new name. Yeah, well, what is her name turns. anyway? She's sick. Tell them about it. Tell them about it. Yeah, so I think that the worm has now finally turned into a butterfly. <laughs> wow. Hey, butterfly. Glad to meet you. <laughs> wow, you can fly now. Fly. Fly. Spread them. Spread them. Spread them. You should spread them and fly. Oh, spread your wings. Oh, okay. Oh, look, and I mean, how how can how can we go along go wrong with that kind of a backdrop? Uh, I feel I feel love all of a sudden, and I feel happiness. 